and we <laughs> Adrian sorry the, I, I didn't even know what was going on Siner was coming out for the matchup and then Iceberg attacked him before he even got up to the, to the area there and, and our camera's just now get a, a glimpse of what's going on here you know there's there's something that really baffles me it's everyone that's in this little AWE nation of domination group they always want to take shortcuts they always want to try to get the better of people and and why why what is it they prove they say that they're better than everyone they say that they have no problems and they have no worries yet they're always trying to do these little shortcuts to get ahead of people and that's why the big man Silent Cross my tag team partner the other half of the lethal weapons is going to take down this berg of ice this berg of ice you mean an iceberg Exactly right. Do you realize what you're trying to do here? You're not getting me beat up and, and potato peeled in the freaking middle of the ring. I'm not doing that. You are not getting me to be a, a bloodletting animal. I'm just not going to have you do that. So I'm putting this out here right now. Disclaimer. I am not saying these things about Iceberg. That is the no pain train. That is the man of inconceivable horror. And that is a man that I have seen literally almost murder people. Including your friendship day. So I don't understand why I'm trying to leave the evil off of you when I've clearly said this is Adrian Armour and everything that I've said has come from my mouth because honestly when you when you attack my family, when you attack my friends, when you attack my tag partner, things get personal. So yes, a little jibber jabber, a little jack slap, a little all of these chuck and jive words that are coming out of my mouth, yes, they're gonna come at the no pain what did you say train? The no pain train. The no pain train. That sounds like a bad T pain song. I just want to make sure that when this when this is watched by Murder One and Jimmy Raven Iceberg, they know that I was not saying these things about this group of nation. It's not a nation of domination. It's not a nation of domination. It's just a group of guys that train together, the guys that came up together, guys that helped build the last great Georgia wrestling promotion. Iceberg is Dino. It's Jimmy. The Nugget. It's Murder One. Farouk. Who's Clarence Mason? They don't have one yet. Mike Cruz? Possibly. You said that. No, no, I'm just asking you who Mike Cruz would be in the nation. Not Rocky. Godfather? Speaking of Godfather, I want to call my Godfather after seeing that cannonball. Unfortunately, it was on my tag partner. But the one thing that we've spoke before about is big men having to step up in this industry. And between the two of these men, I mean, I hope you reinforce the ring. I hope you grab some extra steel ball. Just a leg drop right there. Hulk Hogan-esque. And yes, I do know who Hulk Hogan is. He created wrestling. But Hulk Hogan-esque leg drop. Come on, these big men are stepping it up, and whether this is a blood feud or not, they are working. Well, Iceberg is, a, you know, a, a veteran of the squared circle. Sider Cross, an up-and-coming guy, been in the business, you know, five, six, seven years. I'm not sure exactly how long he's been in the business. Do you? All of the years. All of the years. Well, anyway, you're seeing two guys well over 350 pounds. And now they're just literally just hammering each other. I mean, seriously, the hammer of the gods is hammering Iceberg, and then Iceberg's bringing it right back. You see Iceberg is... Wow! Wow! I cannot believe what I just saw. You just saw power. I just saw a man lift Iceberg. Iceberg has only been body slammed a very few amount of times in his entire career, and I just saw him get power slammed by the hammer of the gods, your tag team partner, Sylar Cross, these are two of the biggest men in this industry today, and they're showing you why the big men, the super heavyweights, can still go. Exactly, and this is what I've been trying to prove to you every single time. This isn't about who's big or who's small anymore. It's about who can work. Oh, my. Once again, beautiful crossbody by my tag team partner. You put it out there, and I'm just establishing it. My tag team partner, Siler Cross, with that crossbody, I know some guys. And I've seen them in training. I know some guys that can't even get up for a crossbody. And you're talking about over 300 pounds flying through the air. Speaking of getting up for a crossbody, I can't believe the iceberg has just got up after that crossbody. That would have put a mortal man down, but iceberg might be immortal. I don't think so. 
it's very close. I mean, this is a man that went to Puerto Rico and destroyed Abdul the Butcher. This is a man that has went to Japan and dominated the Zero One promotion. This is a man that was too violent for Ring of Honor. This is a man that sadistically destroyed total nonstop action in the Nashville years. This is a guy that single-handedly ran through the best that Wildside had to offer. And now he's in Atlanta, and he's showing you why he is the No Pain Train. One thing about all of those places that you named, as notable as they are, it is not AWE, and none of those people are Silent Cross. So, if he could please to all those places, no trouble. Why is Silent Cross giving him so much trouble? Why is he having to catch him on the cross body and having to kick out at 2.9? If it was just as easy as Puerto Rico, if it was just as easy as Ring of Honor, and if it was just as easy as TNA, then why isn't this match won by the no pain? Well, I think it's safe to say that what you're seeing now is you're seeing perhaps the second coming of the iceberg. You are seeing Siler Cross come into his own and showing the wrestling world. And we've lost our, our footage yet, yet again. Uh, we're trying to get our camera over there. You are seeing the second coming of the new behemoth. The hammer of the god Siler Cross is showing the world that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man with this reputation, with this resume. These guys are fighting all over the hell. They are literally fighting all over hell. And right now, it's just, it's leaving me speechless because I know my partner, Silent Cross, and I've only seen shades of this side every once in a while. If anyone remembers back when Kevin Pierce lost his soul to Silent Cross, this is, this is the same side of Silent Cross that I'm seeing now going back and forth, throwing trash cans, throwing old dinner plates. I think I saw half a chicken tender someone should have ate on this. Well, the referee's thrown this match out. I want to see a rematch between these two guys. We need to make it happen as soon as possible. We need to get these guys in the ring for an, another match. We need to like throw the rule book out or something. These two guys are not finished. I think Tyler Cross has proven a point in this one. Your tag team partner has got a lot to do with, with an iceberg. I hope to see you guys back together as a tag team. We are out of time. Don't forget the one year anniversary show is coming up. We return to Here we are for the main event of this week's episode, Owen Knight versus Shug D, a.k.a. Sugar Dunkerton. Most of you out there in the internet world are going to know who Sugar Dunkerton is. Former Chikara, former Resistance Pro, no, still current Resistance Pro champion, right? Yeah, uh, strong style wrestling, uh, freelance wrestling. I mean, the guy's been every beyond wrestling. He's been everywhere. That's anywhere. Pretty much on the independent scene in some fashion, correct? That, that's a correct statement. The man is entertaining. He's energetic, but then he hits. And when he hits, he hits hard. And I think Owen Knight's going to gonna really remember that or not remember it, depending on how hard he hits him. Because we know in this business, concussions happen, and it makes people forget a lot of things. As Christian. Th that is true, and, and 
I guess that's a reference to Christian and his retirement from concussions. I, I'm, I'm unaware of that one. I think he's unaware of it as well. But let's get back to the match. We got Owen Knight now uh, dancing, showing you some of his uptown funk. Um, something's funky, all right, and I don't, uh, I don't know about that. That's the leader of the new age, uh, Owen Knight, and he's he's young, going against this established veteran and Suge D. Look at him, look at him. He's bringing out some moves that this kid doesn't even know. He's seen maybe on YouTube if he's gone too far into YouTube and went outside of his generation. That's the only time he's seen something like that. Well, I mean, Owen Knight's probably studied some Chikara tapes and probably watched a lot of Beyond Wrestling, you know, during his training sessions. And, and I mean, the kid's, what, six, seven months in the business. I mean, here's a kid that might literally be one of the future of Georgia wrestling, the future of the Southeast, and probably the future of the independent scene, if not of the WWE. That's a that's a very good good point, but hey, no matter where he goes, he's gonna have to take some shucking and jiving like that because hey, look look at that look at that. Shook D's just messing with his head right now because as much as he likes to be funny, as much as he loves to entertain, he knows one thing, and that's being an assassin of the mind. I would say cerebral assassin, but that's kind of like, that, that's trademark. We we can't use that one. Just like we can't say Suplex City or anything like that. Why didn't you buy that first? I wanted to. I trust me, I wanted to buy it. Well, after after a few of the little bitch slaps right there, and then a nice little shot to the chest. Look, look at look at Mr. Shug D, a la Mr. El Generico. Oh, that was some beautiful lucha right there. Would that be? I don't even know what to, to call that move. What? It would be called an arm assisted arm drag. So. There you go. I thought there might be a springboard variation of it. I mean, you're the one that watches all. I don't watch lucha. Be part of wrestling, Josh. I don't watch lucha. Shug D once again entertaining the crowd, having some fun, taking advantage of Wow and Owen Knight done. He is done with the jokes, he's done with the games, but he might be backpedaling because like I said, as much as Shug likes to entertain, once it's time to hit, he hits harder and in this lucha style there hasn't really been much hard hitting contact. Owen Knight has now initiated that and that's, that's when the fun begins. That was hard. Owen Knight is only 20 years of age. He's younger than me, and I, I've been kind of priding myself in being some of the. Ooh! That was right there. Look at that rolling. Delicious. Whoa! Is that a variation of the Slurpee kick? It, it was, and Shug D, Shug D will surprise you every single time. Look at him. Look at him. He knows that he just surprised everybody. And he's going to surprise him with something that Owen Knight's mom should have gave him about 15 years ago. And Owen's point at Kiera, or Kiera's point at, I mean, Kiera's point at Sugar for what he just did to Owen. I'm all confused after seeing what Sugar just did right there. I mean, er, earlier in, in this show last week, we, we saw Luscious LaRon kiss a guy, and, and, and now we're seeing Sugar D on this week's episode spanking someone. See, that's why I'm glad that I'm in the ring with serious competitors, because as much as I have a strong disdain for Moto One, I know he's not going to try to kiss me. And if he try to spank me, then we have a whole nother fight to take care of. So I'm really happy that um, I'm in there with really some serious people. Speaking of serious, Owen Knight is definitely a serious competitor. You said he's the leader of the new age. Kiera is his girlfriend on the outside there. Also, you know, part of that new age affiliation. And, and Owen Knight's out to prove something in this, in this matchup by beating a guy like Sugar D. How much would it raise anyone's stock? to beat a certified independent name like Sugar Dunkerton. Owen Knight has already proved something by having his name next to Sugar D on the card. That right there puts you just a little step higher than where you were. Now it's time to solidify that. It's time to make that concrete. And that's what he's trying to do now. Did you see Kiera? I, I, I hate to cut you off, but did you see Kiera just over there calling the eyes out? Kiera knows how much this means to Owen. She knows what that not only does for him, but does for her as well. So hey, if you gotta, you know, claw some eyes, you know, maybe bat the pretty eyes or something like that. If, hey, if it helps Owen, then it helps her as well. That's a very valid point. Is, is that similar to the friendship that Chip and Priscilla have? No, serious question, because Chip and Priscilla won't answer the question, so I was asking you the question, but I can't get out of you either. That's another story for another day, I suppose. And now we're seeing Owen Knight really starting to take it to Sugar D. Dunkerton, 
with with all the, the the travels he's done and and all the work he's put in, I've I've seen this guy, the evolution of this young man, and and to me he's still a young man, even though he's he's probably a veteran to, to someone like you. And he's, what nine, ten years your vet, but. I remember this kid. I mean, I could tell you stories of this kid in 2004 that would literally make you go, there's no way that was that same guy. That actually wouldn't surprise me because you speak of evolution. If, and if it was the same guy back then. He ran into a truck. Okay, see, first of all. He ran into a truck. You, you said that I wouldn't believe that was him. And you just threw it at me. He know? ran into a truck. Once again, you're not giving me any kind of you know, softness or duke relax to make sure that I can get through this. You just ran. He was so uncoordinated, he ran into a truck. And now we see the guy lucha moving. We're seeing him gyrate and dance. And look at that! A baseball slide of the turnbuckle into a capoeira-type kick. You know what's really amazing about that? That is a la Mr. Hmm. I don't know who it's like. No! I Okay. Well, you know, Sugar D is now reinvented in That was a very close near fall there. Sorry, I hate to cut you off again. No, it's okay because look, look at the X Factor. This is one thing that everyone doesn't need to overlook, and that's Miss Kira Hogan over there. She always comes in these really tight clothes, these really short shorts, and she knows that she can tip the advantage at any time, whether it's by her looks, by its physical interaction, it doesn't matter. But her being ringside is an X factor. Not like the photographer that is just wowed every single time he comes to AWE. Kira Hogan has this her emotions in check. She knows where she needs to be and how to interfere. Well, she is definitely the brains of the operation. I mean, seven, eight, nine months ago, you would have said that Kiara Hogan was the star of the power couple, but now you're starting to see Owen Knight. He's came into his own, and, and some of the matches he had with Jeremy Foster, and then the match he had with Milo Beasley, and the match he's now having with Sugar D here tonight, you're seeing this kid really come into his own, and the, the sky's the limit for this kid. I, I just can't... These forearms are rattling me right now on commentary. That was low. That was a beautiful Mr. Wrestling 2-style knee. I know that's before your time. Wait, hold on. First of all, I've met two. I've had dinner with two. So don't come to me acting like I don't know what's happened in the past because I consider myself a huge, huge studier of this product. You literally said that Roman Reigns is the only guy that ever did the spear just last match. Don't talk down to me. I don't like that. I'm not trying to talk down to you, but I'm just saying I was I didn't know if you knew who Mr. Wrestling 2 was because I assumed that you wouldn't since you think Roman Reigns has been the spear. I've had delicious chimichangas with Mr. 2. We've had fun. We've conversed. But anyways, Mr. 2 is not in this match. This is about Owen Knight and Shug D. That that is true. I was making a you know, a metaphor for some of our older fans who might be watching. And I was explaining the move and how powerful it can be. And those are just plain slaps. And, and again, to the comedy, if Sugar D ever got... Ooh, that was... Now, that's serious right there. A shot of the kidneys is serious. I mean, ask Brock Lesnar. He knows about shots to the kidneys. It, it, it took him out in UFC. It made him look like a baby. So shots to the kidneys can happen. And look at that beautiful drop kick. Make it almost, almost, almost making me want to make the comparison to Dolph Ziggler with how beautiful that drop kick was. Yeah, I can't do it on that one. No, I can't do it on that one. Do you not know who Dolph Ziggler is? No, I know who Dolph Ziggler is, but I mean, Owen Knight's dropkick's beautiful, but I, I think Dolph Ziggler's is one of the top ten in the in the history of the business. I think it's number one. Well, I, I mean, I think Tom Zink and Hardcore Holly have an argument with you on that one. I don't know who those people Back to the match. Owen Knight really taking it sugar dungered in. And I was going to ask you... Earlier before I got distracted. Oh, that was a nice karate blow look, there. Look, first of all, no. Sorry to interrupt you this time, but that beautiful back fist. Woo! Look at that! You just reminded me of a white girl I left in Covington. But second of all, that back fist reminded me of something a la um, Adrian Armour there. So. Putting yourself over, huh? I think Shug D versus. Do you like to sell some t shirts now? Oh, well, speaking of t shirts. Anyone that is watching this beautiful, well put together. ProWrestlingTees.com. He's got a gun. You can find the AWE logo shirt. No. Well, you can. Don't jump. In three colors. Don't jump the gun there, sir. 
ProWrestlingTees.com slash the lethal weapons, you can get a beautiful red shirt. He just went for a code breaker. And he failed. Unlike the person that would go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash the lethal weapons and grab any of those beautifully designed t-shirts. Okay, you got your plug in. Now, now let me get to my question. Do you feel that sometimes if... That was a Steve Blackman-like pump kick. Do you feel that sometimes if Sugar Dungerton would just stay serious, he would win more matches? Do wins and losses really matter? Ooh. Yes, wins and losses definitely matter. That's how you move up the card. That's how you move up the rankings. That's how you get title shots. Is that how Daniel Bryan won the WWE World? We're not talking about goddamn sports entertainment and professional fucking wrestling. you got to win matches. And this match right here is between two men fighting to win. And that's why a brain buster just got hit. And that's why Owen Knight just showed the fighting spirit that only a pro wrestler would show. Not a sports entertainer. Stop with the sports entertainment comparisons. That is the fire that I've been looking for. That is the fire that needs to be fueled for AWE because that's the exact product that we have. You're exactly right. We are not here for sports entertainment. We are not here for comedy acts. We are here for pure competition. And that's what Owen Knight is trying to show Shug D. As much of a veteran as he thinks he is. Now, why is the referee trying to stop that? He's let almost everything go in this matchup. Oh, and there is that code breaker that he was looking for earlier. There's an unorthodox cover, and there is a three guy. Owen Knight wins the match, and let me just tell you this. Since wins and losses don't matter, Owen Knight has more wins than you have matches in singles competition here in AWE. It's because I was a tag team wrestler, sir. You want to spit stats at me again? Yes. How many tag team matches did you guys win? All of them. Except for two. You guys faced Chip Dan Murder 1 and lost. And you guys faced Chip Day and Murder one in the showcase match and lost. Didn't count. We reimbursed. I counted all. We reimbursed that because Silent Cross came to save Chip Day when he was in arms. AK Owen Knight won this match. We're not talking about Adrian Armour. We're talking about Owen Knight. This guy right here is the future of the business. And you know what match I want to see? I want to make it happen one day. Owen Knight, Adrian Armour. Let's see if wins and losses matter then. I would absolutely love that. Well, that's all for this week.